hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will learn laravel telescope and laravel telescope is official package of the laravel so in this tutorial we learn why laravel telescope and when we should use laravel telescope in our application when our application is large and taking time into the query and page taking time to load that time we need to check what happened and which part is taking a time to execute and load that time we should install these package this is official package of the laravel and well documented here as well and this package provide the great ui as well so let's install and I show you uses of this package. I already created my one Laravel application here and I show you here is a lots of data in this table. I created using the packer and store into the category. When we go to the next page and query take time, that time we need to check where exactly problem and this laravel telescope is store all of the things into the database this package provide migration and uh, insight into the request coming into the your applications like exceptions log database queries queue jobs mail and notification and many more so let's install this package in this my application and show you so let me stop this server and we can install this package using composer so this package is installing see here package installed successfully in this my application now we need to go inside the documentation and we need to fire few commands you can see here two commands given we need to fire this command telescope install so let me fire using php artisan and let me clear it and fire here let me zoom so you can see easily php artisan telescope colon install this command install the telescope and publish the assets and configurations and service provider like that let me open the editor and show you let me close this and you can see here the config file is published here also some assets published by the telescopes inside the public directory and you can see here inside the vendor directory css and js and manifest file published by the telescope and telescope package used from the public directory this css need for ui i show you later let me fire this command php artisan migrate we need to migrate telescope migrations if you want to publish the migration and want to modify that time you should fire this command php artisan vendor colon publish and specify take telescope migration this command publish the all migration into the database directory and then you can customize it and then fire this command but right now i going to fire this command because i don't want to any customization i just want to run migration which is given by the telescope by default so let me fire this command so let me fire php addition migrate and create telescope entries table migration is run successfully and let me show you into the database three basic tables created by the telescope telescope entry telescope entry take and telescope monitoring now go to the next step and see here if you want to register the 
सर्विस प्रोवाइडर लोकली एंड इफ यू इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू और एंटर दिस सर्विस प्रोवाइडर वेन योर एनवायरमेंट इज लोकल दैट टाइम यू कैन डू इट अदरवाइज डिरेक्टली इन टू दी एप डॉट कॉन्फ्यू फाइल टेलीस्कोप सर्विस प्रोवाइडर रजिस्टर हियर सो जस्ट वी नीड टू अनकमेंट इट बट वाई दिस थिंग गिवन बाई दी टेलीस्कोप टेलीस्कोप डिटेक्ट इच एंड एवरी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द सवर एंड स्टोर इन टू द डेटा बेस सो इफ योर वेबसाइट हैव लॉट्स ऑफ विजिटर देन इट्स क्रिएट अ प्रॉब्लम इन योर डेटा बेस साइज बिकॉज इच एंड एवरी रिक्वेस्ट स्टोर इन टू द डेटा बेस एंड कंटिन्यूसली योर डेटा बेस साइज इंक्रीज सो इफ यू नीड टू वन मोर सोल्यूशन गिवन बाई दी लारावल टेलीस्कोप यू नीड टू रिमूव दी डेटा एवरी डे यूजिंग दिस डेटा प्रूनिंग कमांड एंड शेड्यूल दिस कमांड इन योर सॉवर एंड यू नीड टू रन एवरी एवरी डे एंड स्पेसिफिक हवर्स एंड यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाइड इन दी कमांड सो डेटा रिमूव फ्रॉम दी डेटा बेस एंड योर डेटा बेस साइज इज स्टेबल एंड लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग एंड लॉट्स ऑफ कन्फिगेशन गिवन इन टू दी कन्फिगेशन फाइल टेलीस्कोप डॉट पी एच पी एंड यू कैन कन्फिगर बेस्ड ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑल्सो यू कैन डिसेबल योर टेलीस्कोप यूजिंग दिस कन्फिगेशन फाइल यू जस्ट नीड टू स्पेसिफाई टेलीस्कोप अनेबल फॉल्स इन योर ई एन वी फाइल एंड टेलीस्कोप इज डिसेबल आई शो यू हाउ टू डिसेबल इट we need to just specify telescope enable true and false into the env dot env which is located here and let me specify it here just true so now telescope config file read this value from env let me search into the config and you can see here this enable or read from the env but if not found then it's default true if you want to enable then no need to specify into the env but if you want to disable it then you should specify false here so lots of configuration given by the you can also specify your database name and everything database driver telescope path this is the path of the route where telescope ui is display i show you once setup is done i think setup is done and this is all thing is advance of the telescope so let's start server again and try to render the ui of the telescope php artisan so let me copy this route and specify it here and you can see here telescope ui render if you want to change this telescope route just you need to specify path here also you can specify this path into the env file as well so you can configure it easily but i want to show this telescope ui using ui parameter i just specify ui and go to here and specify ui and try to render telescope ui is rendered successfully if i try to telescope then it's not working anymore now you can see here i got 404 because path is changed so you can customize your path based on your requirement let me show you the some request and queries from this 
application and this page but let me show you and but let me explain a bit more about the laravel telescope from this ui you can pause and play the telescope from here you can clear the all entries from the database right now these two entries are stored into the database let me click and it's clear also you can refresh and this is the monitoring all request log here this is command tip when your command is run all the command related stuff display here this is the schedule job so everything categorized by this tab and you can find it easily that's why laravel categorize all the thing here batch cache dump event exceptions gets http request log mail if anything is related to model then you can see here if related to anything regarding the notification you can see here into the notification part and this is the main thing is query each and every query is logged in display here i show you this is a redis thing and last one is view if anything regarding the view and uh, logged by the laravel telescope you can see here let me go to this page and try to navigate into the next page and you can see here all the views are render before two second ago and you can see here the everything here and you can view it here the time and everything what happened which is the path which one view host name everything and let me show you the request you can see here this is the request and take 385 millisecond to render and everything is here you can see it headers all the headers you can see here which is coming into the request sessions and response this is the response written by this request so you can check it deeply in this laravel telescope ui and this is a very good and very great package by the laravel let me show you query just you can come here and see it this one is red because it's take too much time to render it but if you want to find the slow query right now i just go one time into the and navigate one time if i do it many time and many request capture into the this application and now you can see a lots of the verifier here and that time you need to find the slow query you just need to write here slow and all this slow query you can see it here so this is very good thing and you can easily do it let me show you one more thing into the category table we have limited data but i have one more table where lots of data let me show you table diamond feeds and you can see here 538698 records in this table and when we fire any query in this table it's take time let me show you i have created one route let me open web dot php and see here this route i created for file a query in the a diamond feed table with some parameters and i going to pi here right now no record found but let's search here the slow query and you can see here this query take 1155 millisecond and ideally it's not good and 
that time we need to do some action in this query and resolve it so first first of all we need to check the indexing where we passing the filter for example carrots price colon clear so let me open the database and go to the table and check the structure and see the indexing and you can see here no indexing given this table and that's the reason it's take a time so let's specify here and take name from here and go to the index name index and specify the carrots and save let me add next one go to the price select index price go I did indexing into the all these fields let me confirm price call clear and carrot and you can see here carrot price call and clear so let's try again and fire this query come here and now you can see here the difference 1000 155 millisecond and now 1.89 millisecond so you can easily reduce your query time using the telescope and you can compare before indexing and after indexing duration through the telescope so this is very fantastic package you can use it if you are new in my channel Please subscribe it for more video and video updates. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.